Obviously, this one didn't go in the tank. No, did not. <laughs> Flew down the outside and got up to win. First time I ever saw a horse race in America was back in 1967 when the great Tobin Bronze uh, had his first American start in the Washington International and I got the shock of my life to see the bustling, pumping styles of the American jockeys. I'd uh, read, of course, about such legends as Eddie Arquero and Johnny Longdon and Willie Shoemaker and no doubt in their own right uh, some of them are fine horsemen but uh, when you watch Australian jockeys ride uh, the efforts of the Yanks pales into insignificance. However, this bloke, Pat Day, uh, did everything you'd expect of an Australian rider and uh, I'd invite you to watch the way he handles this horse. He's in yellow and blue colours, he settles about midfield on the inside rail, he comes off the fence with about 700 metres to go and times his finishing run to a nicety. The jockey Pat Day, the horse tanks prospect, the Preakness Stakes of 1985. And there are Sport Jet on the outside quickly but here comes Eternal Prince between horses. Passing the stands for the first time. Eternal Prince with Chris McCarran aboard taking command. Sport Jet on the outside is second. Chief's crown right there. Third, Haji's treasure on the far outside. And Tajua at the rail. After that, it's I am the game. Skip trial. Tanks prospect tucked in at the rail. Cutlass reality. That Sparrow Vaughn and the trailer is Southern Salt now around the turn. And racing to the back stretch. And it's Eternal Prince showing the way by a length and three quarters. Sport Jet holds the second spot by a tight length. Haji's treasure on the outside is right there third. A gap of a length and a quarter and at the rail. Tajua is next. Now Haji's treasure is pulling up. Haji's treasure is out of it on the back stretch. The first quarter in a very quick 22 and 2. The half in 45 and 1. An eternal prince in command by two lengths. On the outside Sport Jet is in second position. Tajua races third and on the outside here comes Chief's Crown making a move in fourth past the half mile pole and there goes Chief's crown roaring up into the second spot and the favorites are now 1-2. It's Eternal Prince in front by three parts of a length. Chief's crown on the outside. Don Macbeth asks for a little speed and gets it. Two and a half lengths farther back. I am the game races third and Tank's prospect closing ground stoutly out in the middle of the racetrack. The two of them team up with a quarter of a mile to go and Chief's crown on the outside taking command drawing off to lead by one. Eternal Prince is second Chiefs crown, down Macbeth aboard, drawing off to lead by two. Here comes Tanks Prospect, gaining with every stride on the outside. Eternal Prince is finished, and here comes the stretch drive. Here comes Tanks Prospect on the outside. Tanks Prospect on the outside, flying at the finish, and I think he made it. Tanks Prospect with Jockey Pad Day, I believe, was up to win it by about a nose. Chiefs crown looked like a winner through the stretch but he didn't have it. Tanks Prospect picked up all the pieces in one minute 53 and two fifth seconds. A new track record by a fifth of a second. D. Wayne Lucas, who won this race in 1980 with Codex, wins it again in 85 with Tanks Prospect. So it's all over for another year. The middle pin of the American Triple Crown, the big Belmont Stakes in New York in three weeks' time. The winner, Tanks Prospect, Chiefs Crown second, and Eternal Prince ran third. He can ride a bit, that bloke, Pat Day. He can ride a bit. Uh, spend the buck. I guess a lot of viewers wonder what happened to Spend the Buck that uh, killed him in the Kentucky Derby and uh, obviously didn't run this morning. Mike, uh, his owner wants to save him for a home state race, which apparently carries nearly as much prize money as the Preakness did. Uh, he's going to run in his home state out of uh, parochial pride, but he got into a lot of trouble with the officials of the Preakness promotion and the Belmont Stakes promotion for breaking tradition. Yeah, it seems remarkable that he won't have a shot for the Triple Crown. No, no horse will win it this year. No, it's a pity in a way, but uh, still the owner advised them that it's his horse. Uh, he'll run him where he wants to run him and to mind their own business. Okay, It was as simple as that. We're going to mind ours too for a moment or two and then we'll be back uh, and we're going to do something that's pretty hard to do. Turn back the clock 100 years. Good. Think of all the times a wet ones would be very handy. When you're exercising your green fingers in the garden. Or keeping your hand in in the kitchen. When you're out and about on a long, hot drive. Camping out. Eating out. Or just flat out enjoying the great outdoors. 
But of course, if you don't have a pack of soft, refreshing wet ones on hand, you'll still be in a mess, won't you? Wet ones moist towelettes. Keep them handy. Have you discovered the perfect way to escape winter? TAA has. We're flying at an altitude of 29,000 feet, just across the Tropic of Capricorn. Some 70. Temperature on arrival, a very pleasant 28 degrees. Fly north and escape winter with TAA. You can choose from a great range of Aussie holidays by talking to your travel agent or TAA. TAA, the friendly way. There's never been soccer like this in Australia. Get ready for the sporting event of the year as Australia takes on the Italians Udinese, last year's Brazilian champs Vasco da Gama and Tottenham Hotspur from England for $200,000 in prize money. Your chance to see live Zico, the $6 million man, Carlos Roberto Dynamite, Argentina's Ozzy Ardiles and a galaxy of superstars. Catch all the excitement as the best of international soccer kicks off on Australian turf in a series of double headers. Don't miss a second of the action. Book now through all bass agencies for the best seats. If you're in the market for a van, well, you're in luck. It's Van Month at your Nissan dealer. At $9,990, you'll save plenty on the Nissan Urban Stubby. Feature for feature, dollar for dollar, it's streets ahead. Check out the features. 15% more power efficiency, 4-speed plus overdrive, great comfort, and payload. Take a look at this. The Nissan Urban Stubby. Save now during Nissan Van Month. Nissan.